Hey guys, welcome to the review show. My name's Austin. Night Swim stars Wyatt Russell, and this is uh, produced by James Wong. Forced into early retirement by an illness, former baseball player Ray Waller moves into a new house. He hopes that the backyard swimming pool will be fun for the kids. However, a dark secret from the home's past soon unleashes a force that drags the family into the depths of an inspectable terror. <laughs> We're off to a great start in 2024. What What is this movie? What the fuck? What is this? Who? Who? James. James Wan. Did you really think that, like, yes, I would like to be part of the produce of this movie? Oh. Oh, man, this movie was bad. <laughs> oh, God. What the fuck? We'll say, all right, positives. Just positives first. The first 15-ish minutes of this movie was really good. I actually really liked it. It was like, oh, okay, this is interesting. And because it starts out with, you know, this random family that you don't really know. There's actual good suspense and actually, you know, and something terrible happens and next the movie just kept going. And that's where the movie gets boring. It just seems like they took an idea from a short film and dragged it out to a feature length film. And they just didn't, and it just, they just didn't know what to do in the middle. Like they had the beginning, they had the end. And next, they didn't know what to do in the middle because it's a short, it's a short film that isn't meant to be a, fe a feature-length long film because it, it's just a concept that doesn't work. <clears throat> oh, by the way, this movie was a short film. I, <laughs> why, why is Wyatt Russell in this movie, man? What, what, what is up with actors with big names and that just feel like the need to do a horror film? Like it's feel, it, they feel like they have, like they have to do it. Like, like it, it will change their like you know, acting ways or something. I don't know. This movie made no sense. It was fucking boring. Like holy shit. Like it's a, okay. Like you have this concept where it's based around a haunted pool. This pool is fucking haunted, which it sounds fine for a short film, not for a feature length film. Because whenever they go anywhere else, I'm like, all right, uh, well, no need to be suspenseful or anything here. Um, this, uh, they're just living their normal lives. Okay, they're back at the pool. All right, something's about to happen. All right, it's like the suspense uh, in the movie is just drawn, like taken out of the film. Like you don't have to be scared for any of these characters. You don't have to care for them. Um, even though that we do spend a lot of time outside of this uh, pool haunted area, we have this like movie about a like a retirement baseball player, and he's sad that he had to retire because of this illness so we have like we focus on him doing that and it's every once in a while we have somebody swimming into a, like in this pool so then we can have the horror stuff happens that's like wait it's it's and they try their every they try every way to get people into this pool like they really try their hardest to have people be involved with this pool so then stuff can happen because they wrote them around uh, wrote themselves in this corner that, that the pool is this fucking haunted thing and and so like you, then you have like you know these hangout situations where you have the family swimming in the pool and things like tiny little things happen, or you have this pool party, or you have people, or you have um a, the daughter um secretly has her boyfriend come over and they play Marco Polo. So then stuff happens like right there. They they really try their best to have like the movie take place around this pool. But the thing is, even when they're in the pool, it's not suspenseful. It's not scary. It's like you know what's gonna happen. It's a very, it's a very bad fucking, it's a very bad movie. A movie that I fucking laughed at because I'm like, what the fuck am I watching right now? I was basically, like, there was only like four people in the auditorium and I was in the very back. I was basically have a fucking com movie commentary to myself, laughing like a little fucking child in this fucking movie. Because I was fucking bored out of my mind, so I was entertaining myself um, to make it more entertaining. Fucking Animeville. Uh, Ryan, Ryan Reynolds' Animeville is more fucking entertaining than this fucking movie by itself. And, uh, and a better horror film, and air quotes, better horror film, um, which is the same fucking damn movie. This is, uh, this is the movie I was talking about earlier. It's, it's, they're literally the same fucking movie because later on, <laughs> fucking Wyatt Russell gets fucking possessed by this fucking demon pool, and he gets fucking superpowers. Out of fucking nowhere, like it's it makes no fuck it makes no sense. This movie didn't know what it wanted to be, and it seems like they took they had two ideas, 
and they combined them together. Like they had this like horror film that was a short film, and they're like, oh man, we have a beginning, we have an end, but we have nothing in the middle. What the fuck do we do with it? Um, I, and so he, the the guy that was writing Night Swim looks over to, and sees somebody writing like a baseball movie. It's like, oh, that looks like a very interesting movie. It's like, you know, can we? Can we can we use that in our film? Can we you know like this 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 script is due literally tomorrow? Can, you know like what do you like what do you have? Oh you oh okay you have all that okay cool cool let's just combine it together all right we want to combine projects you know it would really save my ass and, and next they intertwine <laughs> some of the moments and some of the themes to make it somewhat work and by the end I'm like what the fuck did I just fucking watch and you know that they ran out of ideas at some point in the fucking movie when like they started try, like going against their own rules instead of like the pool being surrounded like instead of like it like this demon only can be around this fucking pool they added this stupid little fucking plot point in the beginning of the movie with a pool pool guy saying like uh, weird ass stuff that a pool guy would never fucking say it made no sense but apparently that this pool is connected to like the sewer system in some form or i don't i have no idea it was just gibberish words to me it made no fucking sense and so at some point in the movie they start draining the fucking pool which they done before. They drained this pool before. I don't know where the fuck they put the fucking water before, but apparently it didn't. It's like uh, the, it didn't matter then. It, I I don't. It just it did it did it doesn't matter until at this point in the film that we needed the matter. So they started draining the pool, and, and next uh, the water went into the drain system, and next that started infecting. <laughs> this town and uh like a previous person that lived there they the, the uh, our one of our main characters goes visits this main person to figure out a backstory yep this movie has a fucking backstory to what the fuck is going on with this fucking weird ass pool and and next shit happens because apparently she has a fountain there like this person that they that our main character is visiting has a fountain and I guess it's connected to the sewage water or something. I don't fucking know. And that's how... And it's the, just the water being present there <laughs> just affects this fucking person. And she starts going fucking crazy. And it's, it's, it's fucking great. I fucking love it. It's, it's stupid. I'm trying to really scrape the barrel here. The bottom of the barrel of trying to find something good in this movie. And I guess towards the end there was like one cool camera shot that I really liked. But... Like, there's nothing in this fuck. There's nothing really in this film that I fucking like besides maybe some of the directing in the beginning. That is pretty much fucking it in this movie that I enjoy. I'm gonna give Night Swim a D minus. <laughs> like, there's a couple of good shots um, uh, in the film, and the beginning, the ending, I did like in some aspects of a horror film, I guess. But besides that, there's nothing in this fucking movie besides my own fucking imagination that made this movie fucking good. This movie is literally just Animeville without Ryan Reynolds and his fucking big, beautiful abs that he had. And, you know, this movie, and, you know, somehow, like, that's, a, that's why you lose points, Night Swim, because you couldn't be the same level as fucking Animeville. Like, I really did think that at some point, when the dad was going gonna start going crazy like i was hoping for him to have a line like with on the levels of like what the fuck is wrong with this family <laughs> like or saying like wacko family something just something on that line but not not this movie couldn't even go just full on you know dumb fun or like you know just over the topness uh it just it really it really tried to be serious and that's and and there's no fucking priests Fuck you, movie, for not having a fucking priest and the babysitter. Where were the like? There was one part where the kids were sitting. Um, they were home alone. Like, where the fuck was the hot babysitter? You couldn't get a hot babysitter either. Fuck you, movie. That's why you're like. If you had all that stuff, easily D a D plus movie. I actually want. I want. You know, I want to look at some reviews. I actually looked at some reviews. Let's let's take a let's take a, let's take a look at these. And all by the way. All these are five star reviews because you know you already got my negative pin. So let's look at let's look at some positive stuff. Um, all right, so we got a review from Jordan London. Apparently, he worked on this movie. Review says right here, I worked on this film. I love it, and I uh, am so stoked, proud of everyone involved. 
that's a that's a guy right there trying to kiss some ass so you can get more work is and here's another review from uh dustin barton a damn fine horror film akin to a stephen king novel but even more aptly aptly in line aptly in line with jennifer mac Macklin? I have no idea how to say her last name. Sorry about that. I'm not trying to shit on your film. I'm trying to shit on Night Swim, uh, Night Swim here. Uh, the Drowning Kind. Per Performance-wise, uh, Carrie Conn knocks it out of the park. I love Carrie Conn. One of the alternative reality aspect of the film is reminiscent of Get Out's the sunken place i guess i'm looking for something different than the average horror fan reviews rating haven't been over uh, have been overwhelming low and negative i am i am happy to give night swim five stars intended to rewatch the film in the future see i don't are you telling are wait but uh, I'm very cute. <laughs> See, you 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 mentioned Get Out, Get Out here, which is a great horror film. How do you fucking put Night Swim on the same level as Get Out? You know, opinions, opinions. I just, I just, I'm just really curious here about what what's what's so great about Night Swim. You know, I I'm I'm just missing something. Maybe I maybe I do need to rewatch it in the future. Maybe do a movie commentary on it with Cliff. Let's see how well he thinks about it. You know, he'll probably let me know in the comment section below after this review. We have one more review right here to um to talk about uh, from Zam 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 Color. I don't. That's Great name. Pretty dope. I like the suspense, though the actual evil thing, human, was quite funny looking. I agree. Not so scary. I agree even more. It was better without it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I also, I think it's, we, we were better off without this movie. But, you know, I, I do agree. So, uh, what's your reasoning for the five stars? Oh, uh, okay, I saw this I saw this one earlier while I was... Uh, <laughs> When I was thinking of this idea of reading uh, reviews at, at the end of this re uh, this review of my review, okay, here we go. I thought this movie was was I thought this movie was really good. As someone who absolutely hates horror films, I would watch this again. Uh, the ending was of the movie made me cry. I can wonder, I can see why that you would want to see this movie again because it's not a horror film. Maybe I'm just missing the mark on this movie. I have, I, have, I may, maybe I'm wrong. May, yeah, yeah. So Cliff, we're gonna maybe watch this in the future and give it a rewatch. Let's see, let's let's see um, if I'm if I'm wrong. I'm not, but we'll see. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and like always, I'll see you guys in the next review. Bye, guys.